Yo, boys and girls, I just got to tell you before we get started that this lobby is a bot lobby. No, no, I don't mean just like, what do you mean? They're bots? Huh? No, they're real players, but I tested out some reverse boosting methods that, well, it works. So yes! maybe oh if you want to be a part of that to see how to get bot lobbies, well, just let me know. I'll let you know. Comment down Broke below. All right. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. The elephant in the room. That's right. First, SBMM slash EOMM. Let me tell you how this works. See, I've been dabble dabbling in SBMM EOMM testing for a long time now, since Warzone first came out. And although I didn't understand it, I came to the conclusion, well, it sucks. And I think most of us are pretty much on board. But let me tell you, fun always equals more playtime, which means spend more money. How is it that this game could be so damn sweaty? Hence the reason why I tested if I could reverse boost in the beginning. Well, this is the first game on since I reverse boosted yesterday. First game, reverse boost, perfect, it works. So, so you ever wonder why they shut down games like H2M and other sites like IM4 or IMX, I can't remember the name, or they don't like games like X Defiant? Yeah, how's that make sense? And what is their little model that they have? The model is, well, if we don't have skill-based matchmaking, then it pushes all the casual players out and there's nothing but sweats. What? But then when you play the game and you're good at it, it equals nothing but sweats. What the f What? How's that make sense? Duh. On to something else. So when you're playing the game and you die, it does this effect, like a vertigo effect. A vertigo effect is something that makes you feel like you're dizzy or you can't keep your balance. It's actually a real kind of syndrome. So every time you die, which is unfortunately a billion times, you got this vertigo effect going on and your camera does this weird thing. Kind of makes me dizzy or something. I don't know what you want to call it, but whatever that effect is, yeah, get rid of it because it's garbage. Another thing that Call of Duty tends to struggle on are two things. And the reason why I mention these together is because they just kind of a constant thing is cheaters and match in progress. Bruh. I have no idea why we're still joining a match in progress when this game is just newly out. And if they want to give you the best impression, they should have you join a fresh match every single time. Number two, the cheaters. My gosh, cheaters have been getting rampant and it's only getting worse. What? No, <laughs> the no, clips dude. are everywhere. So yeah, those two just Hand in hand, you know what I mean? Not that they go together, but those two just constant, constant, constant battle. Next is the skill gap, which goes hand in hand with the recoil of all the guns. For some reason, they just seem, I don't know. There's no visual smoke, but there's a lot more recoil. I spectate a lot of players and I see that they're all struggling as well, which, you know, goes along with the maps. The flow of the maps is, Somewhat decent, but I would sit there and say it just doesn't feel like the old Call of Duty. You are but should it? News. I don't know. The Omni movement. The Omni movement itself. Well, that's going to be a learning curve. I can't really sit there and say I feel good about it, but I don't feel bad about it. I just know that with Omni movement or anything that's new, players tend to abuse things when they're new you know what i mean they, people's always gonna find stuff and get around it somehow and pretty much just break it with that being said because of skill-based matchmaking omni movement and the guns and the maps it kind of makes me feel like i rage quit more which unfortunately yeah i do dang it bobby and with that sometimes when i used to have game sessions of like an hour or two now the hour or two feels like i've been Playing for like four to five hours because you gotta use your brain so much and you gotta use so much going on, it just feels like you're mentally beat up and I can't understand it. Tell me down below in the comments if you feel the same. Another thing is spawns. Spawns suck. And because of that spawn system, 
it seems like that helps the algorithm. The EOMM, SBMM kind of thing. Yeah, these things are all related in some way. You see, this controls the outcome of the game. So even if you were backed into the corner as Murder Show said, the guys spawn right behind you. Really? They push you ahead and they spawn right behind you and they end up shooting you because the spawn system is broken. It's never really been fixed. Nope. And matter of fact, this stuff's been like this since a long time now. And I can't remember the last game that it actually actually was good. Another thing, man, the game to me is a mixture of games, not just its own identity, like Black Ops used to be. Well, let's just put it this way. It reminds me of Black Ops 3. It reminds me of Black Ops 4. It has Cold War in it, has some elements of Modern Warfare, is Rainbow Six Siege, and then last but not least, Max Payne. I believe that was the one with the on me movement. Like, I don't understand why when something is good, they decide to switch everything up. It's like the maps. Why? Why? Why are you Warzone 2 was a complete disaster. And then they bring back the movement. No, I can't believe that I'm hearing this. I don't understand why things, when they're not broke, why they just don't leave them alone. Leave they continuously alone. change everything, even when it is actually good success. I have no idea. Another big one is Another one. players. For some reason, sometimes when the players are on the ground, they seem to blend in with the background. You can't see me. Yeah, I'm a one-eyed gamer, but dang. I, I don't know about you guys, but they blend in and I can't really see them. So is it just me getting old? Comment that down below. Another thing is tax sprint or regular sprint or tax regular sprint. Or I don't, I don't know. I can't tell the difference. It's like they're both mixed together or maybe there is no tax sprint or maybe there is. Or maybe we're always tax sprinting. Who the heck knows? Tax sprint and regular sprint seem like there's no big difference in the two. So... What's the point in even having it? Just keep tax sprint all the time. This game is so fast anyway. It's funny how dumb you are. It brings me to my other thing, score streaks. Guys, man, check six and a half kills, six and a half kills for a UAV or what are we thinking with these? These are so high. Why? Because they probably want you to use a perk, right? When the game comes out, use this perk to get them. Oh my gosh, it's the same thing every single time. But why? You might as well just run personal UAV. Garbage! And last but not least, Garbage. the aim assist nerf. Ah. No, I just want to sit there and say as a controller player, I don't know if this is good or bad. Huh? It seems like in around three-ish meters, 2.5 around there, it seems like there's none. Try it. And with the Omni movement, maybe this actually gets better. You what? But when we go to Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone 3, whatever you want to call it, kaboom! I guess it, I guess it works, but still, something just yeah, we needed more of a balance, gradual, gradual balance. So, with that being said, if you guys like this video, I know there's many things wrong with the game, but they have potential of fixing them. But like they ever fixed the last game? Remember all the lag and the packet loss, everything that they ever had, latency. <laughs> Who knows? Just hit the like button or hit the sub. I do appreciate the likes because likes go a lot further than the subs. But if you like what you hear, subscribe. Be advised, you should stop playing this game and go touch some grass, you little virgin.